Hi, I'm Paul Salem of the Middle East Institute. I'm happy to, to be hosting today my good friend and uh, colleague, Dr. Charles Schmitz. Dr. Schmitz is a uh, non-resident scholar at the Middle East Institute uh, and a professor of geology at Towson University uh, in Baltimore. Uh, and uh, w the best expert I know on, on, on Yemen, as well as many other things. But uh, we're hosting him today to uh, get his help in uh, explaining and walking us through a very complex situation in Yemen. So Charles, welcome very much. Thank you for having Yemen me. Yemen is one of four open civil wars mm -hmm. in the Middle East. It maybe is in, in this latest iteration of civil war in Yemen, it's maybe the most recent that it started in last year. Uh, but it is exceedingly complex uh, at the political level, at the security level, and in terms of both domestic players and external players, as well as Al-Qaeda and ISIS and others. Uh, you, bandwidth in terms of people following the Middle East, they often run out of steam when trying to understand Yemen. Uh, but it is uh, uh, also, it's critically important. Also, the humanitarian situation there uh, is very, very dire. So let's start with, um, if you could sort of give us a map of the essential players and how would a listener and a viewer try to understand sort of the, the board, as it were, in Yemen today. Okay. Um, so, um, in the north, the, the northern highlands, um, we have the Houthi movement, um, a, which is a, a movement um, that has been, it, it, it begins evolving in the, in the 90s, late 80s, 90s in Yemen, and goes through many kind of changes, and we can, we can talk about that. Um, it, it, uh, in, in, it participated in the National Dialogue, which was part of the transitional process after the Arab Spring in Yemen. Um, and it was one of, of many uh, parties uh, to, uh, to Yemeni politics at the time. Um, towards the end of the transitional uh, uh, period, the, the Houthi made an alliance with Ali Abd al-Salak, the former uh, ruler of Yemen, um, and uh, began a, an, a, an aggressive uh, a military campaign. A, uh, ostensibly against the Slah, which they see as their primary enemy, we can describe them, um, and uh, descended upon Sana'a, uh, uh, militarily took over the capital, largely because Ali Abd al-Salak seems to have retained control of most of the military and told his military to stand down. So they entered Sana'a. At that point, they, they made a, an agreement with the existing government of President Hadi, who was president of the interim government in Yemen, <coughs> Uh, to create a technocratic government. That government was created. Then uh, in, in January 2015, the, the Houthi-Salak alliance overthrew their own government that they mm -hmm. had put into mm -hmm. power with, with Hadi, and Hadi, Hadi leaves. So we have Salak and the Houthi allied together uh, in the north. Uh, this is a quite coherent group. They have uh, uh, command and control. There's just two factions, the Salak faction and the, the uh, Houthi faction. The, and on the other side, the other have... side mm -hmm. is uh, is much less coherent. Basically, it's a coalition of those opposed to the Houthi and Saleh, uh, but they don't have the same kind of coherency. So, um, as the Houthi and Saleh forces came south, the Southerners came together. Um, the Southerners are, are many different factions, uh, but they came together to resist the, the Houthi advance. So you have kind of the Hirak, which is the, the Southern movement and its former socialist uh, groups. Then a primary uh, enemy of the Houthi are the Salafi and Islah group. The Islah is... is Islah is sort of the Muslim Brotherhood kind uh, of Well, equivalent. actually today, yeah. today yeah. in the paper, Islah... Uh, uh, um, uh, denied its links to Muslim Brotherhood uh, as an organization, inter international yeah. organization. Mm -hmm. But it does, yes, the, the, some of the key leaders are associated with the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It's also tribal um, and, can, and contains also uh, uh, some Salafi elements. We can say that it's a, it, it's a, it is a, a, a Sunni reaction in the Zaidi North against 
the old Zaidi Imamate. We can mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. say that, and it contains you know, you, you, some of it is is, is supported from uh, Saudi Arabia. It's kind of a coalition. But they the Houthi saw Islam as its primary enemy. So all of the Salafis and Islam they all were forced south. So Salafis and Islamis with the secessionist or sort of the it's, southern it's, movement, which is often yes, secessionist. Yes, and, yes, yeah. uh, but yeah, So where does that leave, or where are they now? The Al Qaeda, the ISIS that are trying to take advantage, perhaps, of the fissures uh, within the civil war as they have in Syria and Iraq. Okay, so, so Al-Qaeda in Yemen is the stronger, by far, of the two. They have a long history in Yemen. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they occupied a large uh, section of, Ye of Yemen in, uh, in the south in 2011 during the transition. They were forced out by Hadi's forces in 2012. Um, but then again, they took advantage of the chaos and uh, they, in 2015, they occupied Mokalla, a key seaport in mm -hmm. the east, and controlled much of the Hadramaut uh, zone. The Al Qaeda tried to uh, position itself as leaders of the Sunni against the Shia, against uh, the, the Zaidi. Mm -hmm. And actually, when the uh, Houthi Salat forces were coming south, Al Qaeda actually moved out of its eastern uh, redoubts and, and uh, created a, a kind of security line across Ib and Taiz to try and stop. Sort of like the a battlefront. Yes, and were. they were yeah. very much positioning. So, so, uh, and they that they did were not effective, and they were pushed mm -hmm. out. They and they went back to to the Makulla area, um, but but um, there seems to be an informal truce, or there was an informal truce between the Saudi-backed coalition and Al Qaeda. Um, uh, officially, uh, uh, Al Asiri, who was the spokesperson for the Saudi campaign, he said, uh, when asked. Uh, that Al Qaeda uh, will be dealt with when there is a stable government in Sana'a. In other mm -hmm. words, after mm -hmm. the Saudis' objectives mm -hmm. were, were were achieved, and then they would go after Al Qaeda. Mm -hmm. um, that changed uh, in the in the summer uh, this year when uh, the Emirates, backed by Yemeni troops, went in uh, to Makalla, pushed Al Qaeda out. I think, the, of course, the Saudis did not expect the war to continue as long as mm -hmm. it did. So is the Saudi-backed coalition, in a way, fighting on two fronts? Yes, at this at point, this yes, point, because yeah. they, they, they saw that uh, Al-Qaeda was a, a problem for the Hadi government. The Hadi government is not much of a government. Hadi uh, has been living in Riyadh. He, mm -hmm. he went to Aden for a short period, but ran back to, 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 to Riyadh. He doesn't have command and control his forces. He doesn't have a, a structure of forces. He has alliances with very par various parties in the south and in the east, Ali Muqsin and, and the Islahi mm -hmm. forces in the tribal east of Marib. Um, and, and then also in Taiz, he has, uh, but they're well, loose alliances. Well, before getting to sort of the regional and complex, you know, mm -hmm. regional and external roles, let's talk about the Yemen, you know, the Yemenis had uh, attempt at a transition, they mm -hmm. had the national mm -hmm. reconciliation talks, and there were talks in Kuwait sponsored by the UN, there's mm -hmm. a lot of efforts. Uh, give us a sense of, you know, what are they, I mean, other than battlefronts and interventions and so on, uh, what are they negotiating about? What are they disagreeing about? In Syria, one has a sense. In Iraq, one has a sense. What are the main issues in, in, uh, that Yemenis have been and are negotiating about? Has progress been made? Why did the talks fail? Uh, the last round of talks, uh, which began uh, in late spring into the summer, uh, had great potential. Uh, prior to the talks, uh, the Houthi and uh, the Saudis, through tribal mediation, had been meeting and had uh, uh, put into effect in a, a truce between the Saudis and the Houthis. One of the, the battle strategies of the Houthi and Salik is to uh, uh, launch attacks at Saudi Arabia to appear mm -hmm. as a threat to Saudi Arabia. Why would that serve their interests? Uh, be, because they 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 want to threaten Saudi Arabia. They mm -hmm. want to sh to to tell Saudi Arabia that they have the capability of causing the Saudis damage, mm -hmm. and uh, so this is why they attack along that border region of of Saudi. Up there. They they make incursions into it. They launch missiles into Saudi Arabia to to make the Saudis feel as if there is a threat there, and that, that the Saudis must deal with them. Mm -hmm. Um, must negotiate, must, must deal right, them in somehow. Right, yeah. right. That's the mm -hmm. point. The, the entire objective of Ali Abdullah Salak is to reinsert himself in politics. Mm -hmm. this, and that's a lot of what this is about, is about Ali Abdullah Salak making himself essential to any future settlement. Mm -hmm. okay? What are the Houthis? I mean, it's a sim simplistic question. The Houthis, if you describe Ali Abdullah Salak in that sort of simple political narrative, mm -hmm. what is the Houthis' 
end game or current game? What, where that, do they want to be? That's a good question, and I think it changes over time. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the Houthis are not as uh, as simply to simple to define as as Al Abdel is. Um, I, I think that um, initially they wanted to be a key part of Yemeni politics. I think their, their strategy of putting in a technocratic government in Sana'a when they, when they effectively took military control of it um, was uh, showing that they wanted to be part of but not the government. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that uh, their political leadership was not as wise, well not very, not very smart, not very mm -hmm. wise. I think the military situation, and this may have been Ali Abdel Assad goading them, uh, got ahead of the politics. Um, and so their military leaders just said, okay, let's just take over and, and, mm -hmm. and, and fight southward mm -hmm. in the circumstances. Well, going back to the talks and the issues that Yemenis have been negotiating about mm -hmm. previously and are negotiating about. Yeah. Now, you said these talks had higher hopes than previous yes, ones, because of the because yeah. of the truce between mm -hmm. the, the Houthi and, and the Saudis, it looked like there, there might possibly be uh, some way of reaching an agreement. The, the, the core issues that separate them are a, a vision of how to end the conflict. Um, for the Houthi and Salak, the key thing is to form a national unity government now, and that national unity government would be uh, would supervise disengagement and the rebuilding of military and security affairs. That leaves Salah and the Houthis in a key position and leaves them with their weapons in the interim period. Mm -hmm. The Hadi government, which um, has been incapable with Saudi support of really making uh, much progress on the battlefront. Um, they uh, rely on UN Security Council Resolution 2216, mm -hmm. which uh, asks the, the Houthi to, to withdraw, disarm, withdraw, withdraw and, yeah. from the cities and allow the Hadi government to come back to Sana'a. First, yeah. First, yes. And this is the essence of the, of the disagreement. You mm -hmm. know, the, it's the ordering of it. And this mm -hmm. is uh, John Kerry's uh, visit. Uh, what he proposed was a dual track, the security and the political at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, while the Saudis and the Hadi government uh, publicly accepted it, they accepted it with conditions, and the conditions was, were that it not uh, go beyond 2216. Mm -hmm. And they also, this is a, a smart public campaign because they knew that the Houthis would reject uh, the transferring particularly to ask for the missiles to be taken out of their hands. Mm -hmm. And the Houthis mm -hmm. said, no, you know, we, we're going to hold on to our arms until we're sure of the politics. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if that sort of describes the impasse and the sort of prioritizing of disengagement and trying to get back to some political track, if we go back a bit to the National Reconciliation Talks mm -hmm. and what were the sort of constitutional and institutional issues that Yemenis seem to agree on, issues of maybe decentralization, mm -hmm. central, what are, you know, three or four key things that sort of stand out from that effort? Um, the, the new constitution that came out, the, the national dialogue and the new constitution that came out, it, it was uh, quite a document. It, uh, it, it has very, many very liberal contents, particularly in questions, uh, for example, women, mm -hmm. uh, minimum age of marriage, uh, giving uh, women a quota in, in government and things like this. It, it, in many ways, was a very, and it was a hard fought between sort of those, the, you know, what exactly was the role of religion in the state. This was a, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a, a big issue. Um, uh, one of the issues that Yemenis have always talked about is kind of local control. There's a sense that uh, the state is too centralized, that the elite in Sana'a rule everything, and that they rule it in their interests, and that regional areas get left out. This is the this is the perception mm, within inside mm. of Yemen. So the idea of local government has long been an issue. It was an issue in the war in 1994 mm -hmm. between the north and the south, um, and so the it, uh, uh, the idea of a federal government was a popular one in Yemen. Mm -hmm. However, there were problems in the national dialogue. The the southerners never really accepted it. The southerners uh, they. The Southerners are kind of split between those that want to stay with a unified Ye Yemeni state and those that would like to succeed. Um, and uh, they're and fully set up their own state, I mean, yes, what, yes, as they yes, had in the yes, past. Yes, yes, yes. And, and uh, 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 the Southerners, therefore, couldn't uh, agree on representation. There was no uh, real representation. And even Hadi, who is a Southerner from mm -hmm. Abiyan, he picked some key people also from Abiyan to represent the South. And even his hand-picked people had to withdraw refusing to, to uh, mm -hmm. participate. So the Southerners so weren't fully, Were a big yeah. issue, yes. And uh, uh, 
they, they couldn't agree on a division of the country, how to divide the country into a, a, a federal government. And this actually became one of the issues that the Houthis were threatened by, mm -hmm. uh, because um, the, the Houthi area, the far north of the highlands, was connected with Amran. So there was, it was Sana'a, uh, Amran, and, and Sada connected together like this, and not connected to the sea or any other way. So it kind of it, it isolated the Houthi in, in a larger uh, uh, sort of northern highland group that mm -hmm. they couldn't control. Mm -hmm. So the Houthi couldn't control their, their local area. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they couldn't. And so they rejected it. And it was actually uh, the, the arrival of the constitution was being written outside the country by a specialist, mm -hmm. Yemeni specialist. Uh, and brought back in that was sort of triggered the, that triggered yeah. their overthrowing the government. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, let's get to the external intervention. I mean, like mm. in Syria and some degree Iraq and, and so on. There's a heavy external intervention uh, in Yemen. There's a Saudi-led coalition of forces on the ground as well as an air campaign. Mm -hmm. There's been from the beginning, or the Saudi uh, narrative is that when the Houthis took over Sanaa and so on, that they were receiving at least political and moral backing from Iran, and that had they not done something, Iran through the air and sea and land routes would have tried to establish more of a presence. Describe a bit sort of the current state of play of sort of the external powers, uh, the Saudi-led coalition, and any Iranian Hezbollah mm -hmm. presence or, or political or financial support. So, so the Houthis do have ties uh, with, with Hezbollah. They do have ties with... Uh, with with Iran, um, the recently the Houthis after the breakdown of the talks, the Houthi went to uh, I Iraq and they were received by the government as mm. an official party, which yeah. the Yemeni government uh, was very upset about. Mm -hmm. um, um, but the the ties are mostly uh, sort of political political support, um, you know, it may be advice. Uh, there ha there have been uh, some transfer of weapons, but very small. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Houthis' weapons are domestic. They don't yeah. they don't really need the the, the Iranian uh, weapons. Um, when I think Yemen is sort of the most heavily armed per capita outside the United second States, second to the United <laughs> States. States. Yes, yes, it is. It, it, yeah. It's a wash in weapons. It's a uh, wash in weapons from multiple conflicts and, and with open Yemen. carry. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> Very see, much see, in, in Yemen, a, 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 a pistol mm. is not considered a weapon. Yeah, weapon that's not yeah. a weapon. Yeah, uh, really. An AK-47, that's a weapon. That's the, yeah, yeah, small yeah. weapon. Yeah. Yes, mm. that's the small arms. That's yes. small arms. That's small arms, that's right. Uh, um, and and uh, the, when, when the Houthi took over Sana'a, there was a short period when they announced a $5 billion uh, uh, economic agreement with, uh, with the Iranians, and there were regular commercial flights of the Iranian mm -hmm. airlines into mm -hmm. Sana'a. I mean, this, but this is mostly show, and it was mostly show to, to scare the Saudis, to, mm -hmm. to say, hey, you know, we are independent. When, when the Houthi took over initially, first, before that, the, the Saudis sent a delegation, and the Saudis would have quickly uh, uh, dealt with the new power of the Houthi had the Houthi been willing to deal with them, but the Houthi did not. Mm -hmm. The Houthi said, you know, we will listen to the brothers' words when we have time to, we're busy. Mm -hmm. That was not the answer that the Saudis wanted. Uh, this is not a question of sectarianism. Mm -hmm. the, the Houthi and, and the Saudis, they got along fine. When they negotiated their truce, they, mm -hmm. they, they got along fine in, in that sense. Um, the, the Saudis, for the Saudis, it is a war against the Iranian influence, um, but it's also a prestige war for the the, the new king. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a new, this is a forward new forward policy of the Saudi uh, kingdom. So it's not just a, a question of what happens in Yemen; it's also a new assertiveness mm -hmm. of the kingdom mm -hmm. that's on the line in the region. Here. Yes. What forces are there? I mean, it's also there are other forces from some GCC countries. The Emirates are playing a large role in the south, and there yeah. seems to be a division of labor between the Saudis and the and the Emiratis, where the Emiratis are in Aden and and in Makalla in the south. Uh, and the Saudis are mostly supporting the eastern desert, the Marib desert. Uh, and so th this, those are the two fronts, uh, north towards Taiz, which mm -hmm. has been a major battleground from the south, and then uh, the east towards Sana'a from, from Marib, and that's the other big one. Uh, and in the east, it's mostly Saudi. In the south, it's mostly mm -hmm. the, the Emirates. Mm -hmm. I want to sort of we're running a bit out of time. I want to end with sort of two questions. One is the, the 
horrific uh, humanitarian situation. Mm. If you could describe uh, sort of uh, a bit about, about look, that, where we stand today, and then I'll end with questions about U.S. involvement in all this. The, uh, the humanitarian situation, uh, Yemen... Yemen um, uh, Already the, a very poor country. Exactly. Yeah. Yemen's, Yemen's economy um, uh, is an oil economy. Uh, they, they depend heavily on oil. They have small amounts of oil, and the oil, peak oil was in 2002, has been declining since, and mm -hmm. it's quite, quite a bit lower now. Um, and, and Yemen uh, needed to use the wealth that it had to invest in future, to invest in stability, to invest in employment, making opportunities for the future and whatnot. It did not. Its conflicts prevented that kind of use of its resources for the future. Um, and uh, so the transition happens precisely at the point when Yemen most needs a stable government. Instead of a stable government, they get clashes. And one of the, the, the toughest part of the clash is that the Saudis, uh, trying to cut the Houthi and Saleh off from the outside world, imposed a blockade, which the United States participated in, to prevent the transfer of weapons outside of Yemen into the Houthi. But, but uh, this, this included all goods for some time. Mm -hmm. they've, mm -hmm. they've created a system where some gets through. Yemen uh, Im imports 90% uh, of its wheat and 100% of its rice. It's dependent upon the external world. And so uh, the Yemenis have been suffering from you know, the lack of electricity, the lack of water supplies, the, the lack, lack of, of food. food. Yes, yeah. I mean, it, is, it, it is a very serious situation. And the death Yemen. toll up till now? Um, the death toll, uh, I, I'm not uh, an expert on this, but uh, you know, I hear around 10,000 or Something more? like this, yeah. yes, yeah. Or, or less. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't seem to be as bloody as the Syrian war, but. Uh, but we don't want to compare all <laughs> conflicts to that, but no, yes, I, the, uh, 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 I would, mm. What I would say about that is that a lot of the suffering is... N is, is it's not death directly, right. I mean, although that's 10,000 right. is an enormous right. number right. in a very right. short Well, and a key issue there is the civilians that are being killed. Yeah. Um, and uh, a UN report um, accounted, uh, gave uh, the Saudi air strike 60% of the civilian casualties, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. caused a big row. And it's caused a bit of uh, a row here in the States because mm -hmm. the United States is, of course, rearming the Saudis. Uh, well, obviously, the U.S. Uh, indirectly or supported. Or, uh, how do you see the U.S. role? Uh, how has it been? I know there's been some reluctance, but at the same time, there's been sort of support. But maybe more importantly, as we're close to you know, election and a new president, what could you recommend? What could be done, at least from the U.S. side, uh, to try to bring one of these four civil wars in the region to, to a close sooner rather than later? Well, I would uh, just, to, to Saudi, US, U.S. policy towards Yemen is subsidiary to its, to its relations with Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. and that's, that's clear. Um, the, after the Iran nuclear deal, the Saudis expressed concern about the alliance with the United States, whether the United States would actually uh, secure Saudi interests. They saw a divergence between U.S. interests and, and Saudi interests. That's part of the uh, independent uh, Saudi actions. It's an attempt to become independent. And Yemen is kind of the test case. And it appears that the United States has kind of allowed the Saudis that to, to assuage their fears, to sort of mm -hmm. say, uh, we are with you and, and, and we will let you do what you, what you, what you want in Yemen. Um, uh, I think the United States is interests in Yemen differ. If you watch, if you listen to the statements that, that American diplomats made, their priority, of course, is fighting Al Qaeda as, mm -hmm. as always. Mm -hmm. And uh, their uh, central part of that fight against Al Qaeda is a stable state. And so the United States would like a st settled st settlement, uh, uh, you know, to a much greater extent than the, than the Saudis. The Saudis mm -hmm. want a victory. The Saudis want their, uh, to impose their will mm -hmm. on Yemen. Uh, whereas the United States sees that perhaps that will um, mm -hmm. cause further instability mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. lead to... So there's a divergence of views there. Yeah. In the future, I mean, in, in the best of all worlds, the United States could put pressure on the Saudis and say, we don't see it that way and, and, and you know, rein the Saudis But would there. you have one or two recommendations uh, doing things differently than have been done in the last year? Um, one of the... I, I see the... The, besides the external uh, actors of, of the Saudis and the Emirates, um, which the United States could put pressure on to back down and to negotiate. Um, but one of the problems is that neither Yemeni side is negotiating at all. I mm -hmm. mean, they sit and they talk, but they, there's no progress whatsoever. There's mm -hmm. no movement on the positions among, among the Yemenis. Among the Yemenis. Yeah. 
and uh, there's great distrust between them. It's going to take a long time. This is not something that's going to be solved quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take long, patient negotiation. Um, and the United States could play a role there. Uh, unfortunately, we're seen uh, from the Salak and the Houthi side as partisans. We're seen as part of Saudi Arabia because uh -huh. we keep resupplying Saudi Arabia with it. And we keep giving diplomatic cover. 2216 in the Security Council really is the Saudi position. Uh -huh. And it was given to them by the United States and the Europeans. Uh -huh. um, and so maybe breaking with that, the, the Hadi government is, would be very upset with that, but breaking uh -huh. with that and finding really an, a way to negotiate um, independently in the United States, if they could do that, would be uh -huh. helpful. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Charles, for being with thank us. You. It's a very complex situation. Obviously, we hope that things move forward. Uh, in Yemen, thank you for uh, following uh, this webcast or podcast. Uh, I'm Paul Salem from the Middle East Institute. Thank you very much.